golden rod and the 4-H stone The things I brought you when I found out you had cancer of the bone I don't know about uh, your side of the internet, but over here, I don't wear pants all the time. And you know what? No one even knows. So, uh, it's one of the few situations, social situations, where this is allowable. And I think that's cool. I have a confession. I'm beginning to think that I might be a closet environmentalist. I guess just stuff just seems to add up. I mean, I, in my kitchen, I've got three uh, garbage bins for separating all my trash. Uh, I love that book, The Weather Makers. I pimp it out to everyone. My friends used to always kind of find it uh, fun to litter. And I was always the one where when they would throw their, uh, their open the car door and throw their junk on the ground, I'd be the one in the back seat who would pop my door open and pick it up as they drove away and just keep it until I got home. And uh, I, I throw rocks at SUVs. That, that helps too. Uh, actually, back home, I toyed with the idea of uh, starting a directory of um, Hummers. And what the plan was, whenever I saw a Hummer, I did this a couple times, but it never really panned out, I kind of followed them to their house. And then one night, what my idea was, was that when I got enough of them, I'd go out and I'd just egg all their houses. And I know, it's juvenile, but it would get, make me feel better inside. Uh, and I guess one of the reasons was that I knew, you know, they all hang out, you can tell, and they'd be, um, you know, on their private beachfront front place sitting on the beach around a bonfire uh fueled high with supreme grade gasoline and their hummers would be sitting in the background and they'd be they'd be talking and soon enough they would realize that they'd all been egged and uh deep inside they would know that it was because they were terrible human beings i guess uh, you know I, i'm sure they would go for uh alternative fuels if they if they they could like if there was some uh, hybrid fuel blend that they could use in their hummers and it was uh made from i don't know pureed puppies and uh, and the tears of Sudanese refugee children, I'm sure they'd use that and they'd be perfectly happy. Part of me um, just wonders why I care so much about like uh, environmental issues, because I mean, really, one way or another, we're probably all fucked anyway, like, whether it's environmental disaster or, or nuclear war or whatever, but um, hey, there's one upside to nuclear war. What possible upside, you ask? Yeah. Good question. Well, if uh, science has taught me anything, it's that uh, Earth will just absorb all the energy and uh, will be instantaneously promoted to a higher orbit, most likely outside Saturn. Also, uh, if I understand correctly, this will also be a more exciting orbit, which means that there will be more parties and uh, a large excess of beautiful women. If you don't understand why all this is true, then uh, you people need to bone up on some physics. It's all in there. Orbital theory, I'm telling you. Uh, another end of the world scenario, I guess, is, uh, you know, this whole asteroid hitting Earth, like in the Armageddon movies and countless other movies. Um, well, I have a way of dealing with this. There's 6.5 billion people on this Earth today. With the rate we're going now, 8 billion by the time an asteroid comes around. So that means on any one side of the Earth, there's 4 billion people with a line of sight at the meteor. Okay, so how this would work is that everybody, everybody on Earth would, uh, you know, hold a piece of hamburger in their hands, okay? And uh, they just wait, and they just poison themselves. Like at this perfectly timed moment, this guy like from NASA or something would yell, NOW! And then everyone would just huff their hamburger into the air at the asteroid. Uh, you know, there's four billion people times uh, like a quarter pound or each. Um, that's like one billion pounds of processed meat. I mean, I don't have time to work at the calculations, but I mean, that is a lot of freaking meat. I'm sure it would deflect an asteroid. But hey, um, I mean, if this plan did not work, then we could always uh, fall back on the alternate plan, which would involve, you know, a few people at the same time throwing spices and seasoning into the air. And then, um... You know, they combine with the hamburger and intense heat and fall back down to Earth where, um, where we could all enjoy delicious tacos in the moments before we were purged from existence. Hurrah uh, for pseudoscience! Um, okay, here's another one for you. The radius of the arc which a drunk tends to follow while coming around corners is directly proportional to how intoxicated they are. Uh, the critical point is reached when the radius of the arc approaches infinity, all cornering ability is lost and the drunk just careens into a kitchen appliance such as the fridge. Chicken Greek penne. All the glory 
when he took our place But he took my shoulders and he shook my face And he takes and he takes and he takes